<laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is Olivia's 11 month update. Can you believe it? This one is nearly one. You're nearly one. <laughs> but this month she has really found her feet. All she wants to do is try and walk everywhere, which is hard. I feel like this age is really hard because She's not quite steady on her feet enough. So sometimes she like, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes she'll like go to go somewhere and then the last few steps she just falls onto it. So I have to be very careful like what's around. I feel like I want to follow her around more. Like I'm really noticing like corners and things like that. This is like a really tough age when they're not quite walking. But she is doing really well on her feet. Like she's becoming really steady. Sometimes she'll just stand there, just standing up on her own for ages. Like it's so good. And it's really nice because like Ralph loves it and he keeps encouraging her to like walk to him and he loves it when she walks to him and he can catch her and give her a cuddle. <laughs> she's got a tomato in her mouth. <laughs> she loves putting stuff in her mouth. She pulls off her sock put them in her mouth <laughs> and then she crawls around the house with it in her mouth like a little dog oh my god it's so funny <laughs> i feel like this month she's really found her inner diva <laughs> like she was always my calm one but when she doesn't want to do something look she doesn't want to sit on my lap so <laughs> she's having a little uh, moan there you go you can go and sit there i was like you was my calm one like ralph is my crazy one but she's um She's becoming a lot more like Ralph. <laughs> but one exciting thing this month, Olivia had her first haircut, didn't you? She's not playing ball today. <laughs> you don't want to be in this, do you? But um, yeah, it wasn't like it was too long. It was just, it really needed, needed neatening up. Like a few bits were coming into her eyes and they've just given her like a little bit of a trim and putting it back into like, so it's all neat again. But she was such a good girl. Like it was perfect timing. She just woke up from a nap. She was having a little biscuit. I think she was more interested in the biscuit than she was the haircut. <laughs> She's found her music toys. In terms of toys and things that Olivia's into, I feel like there's a few things that she loves that will always hold her attention. One being my phone. You love mummy's phone, pushing it across the floor, dropping it. Yes. She still loves this pop-up frog. You do it. This little train has been really good. But what she likes is these bits, because they all pop up when you press these buttons. But what she likes the most is pushing them back down. That's it. <laughs> but her favourite thing to do is just tip things out. <laughs> like, she loves anything in pots like this. If I just put some clay food and she'll just tip it in and out. She loves pulling all her clothes out of her drawers. <laughs> her best thing to do is to pull out all Ralph's books from his bookcase. Anything she can just do this with. Pack it of baby wipes. You know, the wipes are just one after the other. She loves it. <laughs> so I said in my last update that Olivia's become a little bit more clingy. And it's definitely been since her teeth have come through. She's got four teeth now, her whole front ones. One's still on its way down. Um, but she just wants me all the time. Whoever's holding her, she wants me. Um, it's been quite hard because she's not really wanted to be put down. She just wanted to be cuddled all the time. But then when you're picking her up, she wants to be put down. As soon as you pick her down, she wants to be picked up. Like, it's been really hard work. But this clinginess has also affected her sleep. And where I used to be able to just put her in her bed, she could be wide awake and she would just go to sleep by herself. Now, she screams if I leave the room and you probably saw it on one of my last vlogs. So it's awful, it's really awful. And what is like 10 minutes feels just like two hours. So I've been doing the Ferber method. I think it's, that's what it's called. Where you walk out, then you go back in, soothe them, walk out, go back in and i only leave her for like one minute because i literally can't bear to hear her cry for longer than that and it probably only takes like 10 15 minutes and she goes to sleep but then she's getting proper sleep because she has gone to bed by herself and we've been doing it for about a week it's been horrendous 
but it's got better and better each day. That the other day I actually put her down awake again and she went straight to sleep, no tears. Yes! So I'm hoping we've cracked it, haven't we? Hopefully. But she just loves a bit of rough and tumble, like which is handy when she's got a big brother that pulls her about. What they like to do is all the cushions on our sofa, they pile them up in the middle and we get extra blankets and stuff like that. And Ralph and Olivia just climb up and jump off into them. It's so funny, but she absolutely loves it. We've been to the soft play quite a lot as well, which she loves, because she just loves climbing on things. She's constantly trying to climb up the stairs. But there, obviously, it's really good because everything's padded and she can't hurt herself. So in terms of Olivia's routine, it's pretty much similar to last month. Um, she'll wake up between 6 and 7 o'clock in the morning. And the one thing I have changed is that when she wakes up, I used to give her her milk straight away. But I'm actually giving her her breakfast first now. So about 7 o'clock, she will have her breakfast. And then 8, 8.30, she will have her milk. And I've changed it because... Obviously, we're going to be start sort of weaning off milk soon. And once she's 12 months, she'll go on to cow's milk. And the idea is, is that she takes more breakfast and less milk. And that way, she'll know how much she needs because she would have already sort of filled up on her breakfast. I'd say about 10 o'clock now, she's going down for her morning nap. <laughs> what is it you want? I'll get it, I'll get it. 11.30, she'll have her lunch. And she loves finger food. So this will normally be like a picky lunch. And then about sort of 1 30 she'll have her milk but after that bottle that's when she'll have her next nap and then she'll normally have around an hour after that we will then have Love dinner something. about five o'clock and we try to do a meal that we can all eat so i might just blend things up for olivia but it's so much easier if i can just cook one thing that the whole family eats and then at seven o'clock she will have um her last bottle of the day obviously she'll have a bath before she'll have a bottle and then she will go to bed <laughs> thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>